Hey guys, welcome again to another episode of OMG What That? This time we're at Waipahu Street. Yes, Waipahu Street. Uh, currently, right now, I'm gonna walk out to supposedly the most haunted uh, spot on, well, not spot, but the road in Waipahu. Uh, remember guys, just to give you a heads up, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Hit that button right there and you can subscribe to OMG What That and never, and never miss an episode. Anyway, just to give you a heads up, we're not really starting at the very beginning of uh, Oh, Waipahu Street. Waipahu Street actually spans the hall of Waipahu. And for those of you who are wondering, I do not have my teeth. What happened? Anyway, Poki's not with me today. Um, that might be the reason why. <laughs> anyway, we're on the middle of Waipahu Street, uh, right across the street from uh, uh, Nanakilo Baptist. Church and August Arnts. Uh, right behind me is actually Tucker Field where August Arnts is, which, if you've seen in the past videos, was uh, emphasized as one of the haunted schools here in Waipao. So we'll start at August Arnts and then we'll head down the street as we go. All right, uh, I'll catch you when I catch you. Stay tuned. This episode of OMG What That will be focusing actually on Waipahu Street. Supposedly the most haunted town according to Honolulu Magazine. I don't know what year. But Waipahu is supposed to be one of the more haunted towns in all of Hawaii. Mainly because there's a lot of mainstream ghosts and also where they keep haunted houses and all that kind of thing. Anyway. Just to give you a heads up, uh, we're starting at August Orange Elementary, which, like I said earlier, was uh, was the first of the Waipahu videos. If you haven't seen the video, uh, hit that hit that button right there, and uh, you'll be able to see the video. Or you can just wait until. The, the end of this video to actually see the video anyway this is August Harnes just to give you a heads up give you the signage if you can see it actually let me turn on more of the lights yes this time I am prepared okay Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that the, the signs are actually illuminated. We'll be going on Waipahu Street. Uh, I am kind of cheating on this one. Um, mainly because I'm not going to be walking. Uh, in a few videos in the past, I've said uh, most of these videos is more... Is more of the issues come from live people. So, I'll be using my car and just doing a tourist drop if you really look at it you know to give you more information about the area anyway here at August Arnold's there are three that I've noted on the last video I missed one which is uh, E building and F building which one of the building buildings are no longer here anyway it covers uh, the banyan tree the library uh, the suicide lady, the suicide teacher at H building, and now E building. It's supposed to be haunted. E building is supposed to be haunted by a uh, a Manihuni because it was where they do hula back then, back in the plantation days. It's not here now. It's mostly uh, mostly. Uh, <laughs> I think I just seen a light dim in the background. Hopefully, it was just my eyes. 
anyway guys uh yeah um that's where there was uh they had hawaiian uh hawaiian hawaiian lessons um it's no longer there so i'm guessing it's done like they they're not gonna build it it's now stored so. Okay, I heard a moan while I was talking. I don't know if uh, that's exactly what you guys hear. Uh, outside of that car that just passed by, I thought I heard something. I hope it was just... It was just my imagination. I'm alone on this one, so I can't really have somebody back me up. But I want to make sure I'm not going to get attacked by anybody. Anyway, August Lawrence. That's August Lawrence, our first stop on Waipau Street. Hey guys, uh, we're on Waipahu Street via the S turn. Uh, we're just before the S turn is, happens. Um, I just want to point out where we're actually at. This is the Waipahu Plantation, one of the more haunted uh, locations. It's actually kind of scary here. Uh, I'm gonna stay on the road, uh, it's not open but this is where you see strange things happen strange smells things move around orbs and all that kind of deal uh this is the one part of the video i'm kind of not really liking only because we're gonna have to, we're gonna walk the astern yeah just want to give you an idea how creepy this place can be at night uh I'm just looking around because there's like a, a bunch of homeless guys out there right now and uh, yeah anyway let's be safe anyway just so you know this white house right here that white house right there is the Portuguese house it's haunted by a girl but all of this whole area is haunted um, things move around on its own sounds are also prevalent here and all that there's also a little cemetery located in the back you can't really see it because it's dark but if I shine a light see that's like right there anyway but uh, yeah these are the plantation house we can't really get into it right now but that's all that's all let's just walk it and then uh we can uh move on to waipahu elementary This is the back side guys normally it's kind of calm and serene during the day um it's quiet like super quiet right now and the wind just stopped which freaks me out more because <laughs> that's normally when things happen
once again we're not inside the place we're actually Actually, uh, just outside on the road on Waipahu Street, in fact. So you can see all this from Waipahu Street. Blair all my lights. <laughs> Okay yeah, guys, um, that's the S-turn coming up. This is like Pahu Street. And if you've been here during the time of uh, Halloween, you're most likely been here for the haunted house here at the plantation area. I don't know, that should give you a better look of the area. It's basically brush now from this point on. Uh, Uh, dim up some of these lights. Yeah, that's the plantation, uh, the haunted plantation or the plantation everybody knows of here in Wai uh, Waipahu. On the other side is actually what used to be what used to be uh, the area of the sugar mill. The main sugar mill uh, head is actually all the way down the road. This is where they process a lot of things, and I hear stories about uh, what security scene and all that kind of thing. Oh, you heard that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I heard a scream.
Anyway, this lock has turned. Cross the street. Just crossing the street because uh, there's no walkway on the other side. Whoa, almost fell down. That's the entrance. Right there. That's the entrance to uh to the plantation village. Anyway, if you guys do walk this at night, just be prepared. Uh, there is a homeless camp in the area. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden you got uh, somebody say hello and all that kind of stuff. But if you listen, you hear all the, all the sounds Holy cow, what was that? A trash bag. I got freaked out by a trash bag. <laughs> I smell something. I think I smell... I smell flowers. This is the S-turn, just so you guys know, there is a walkway on the bottom, down here, and it goes all the way through. Don't be surprised. Smells good. Oh, there you go. That's what's making the smell. If you guys are here, you guys would actually smell it. It's pretty, pretty nice. It actually calms me down. But, yeah, underneath this bridge is a trail. On the opposite side is across the river is actually the the homeless camp, which periodically gets gets uh, gets removed. But this is the S turn, I'm taking the S turn right now. Yeah, if it wasn't for these lights, I'd be creeped out right now. I'm trying not to blind the drivers. It is around uh, 11, 11.30 right now. Um, I just heard somebody walk behind me. Anyway, the story of this, this place, other than the fact that there's a river which emanates the energies they use to manifest, This is actually an area where if you're not paying attention, you will hear somebody walking behind you. It is said that it's the Hawaiian warriors uh, going into uh, Waikele Valley, which is what we're coming up now. This is actually, a, it is an entrance to Waikele Valley and uh, the beginning of the Battle of Kipapa Gulch. This actually attaches to Cape Papa Gulch. It's a very big valley. Uh, I don't know why a lot of people think that this thing doesn't attach. Uh, other than the fact that the Gulf people know that this goes all the way to the back. This goes around... Uh, um, this actually goes around to the back side of um, Central Oahu Regional Park. Unless you walk all the way to the back and past the bush. You would never think about, holy cow, this must have happened during the windstorm we just had. This whole thing's, and it's not cut, it just fell. Sorry guys, did you see that? I just seen an orb, damn it. <laughs> anyway, let's just carry on. <laughs> But that, that's weird for that to be all busted. So this is the S-turn. This is also notorious for a lot of accidents. 
most people misjudge the turn and they go either into the guardrail or the bridge or one of these trees but here is the access to Waikele Valley like I said it's gated off because there's farms back there but that was the S-turn and it goes furthermore but really there's hardly anything once you pass this S-turn let's just go over the bridge and look over this is actually Waikele River it's pretty slow right now normally this is a raging river uh, and I can see the rocks and all that kind of thing so it's pretty uh, pretty low anyway guys since we're here I'll give you a heads up of what happened here in the valley that personally me and Poke had um, I just want to tell the story um, basically what we what we've encountered here at the valley and the S turn is basically story goes um, when we were playing this is sorry Pokeball I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a story of what happened on one of the ones that seemed to have affected me more than it affected you but uh, it's the one uh, the one game that we had hmm this is why I hate this sometimes I can actually see something and I think I just seen something walk across the street and it's not really there but anyway oh, I'm just gonna tell the story I know I'm kind of reluctant on it but um, here it goes actually let's just walk to uh, the interest I think it's better safer for everybody else so that uh, they know it's uh, safe per se right now everybody's kind of looking at me like oh who's that crazy guy walking on the, the road with uh, two lights blaring <laughs> anyway Okay. If you guys see something coming up from me in the back, just say so. Because <laughs> uh, no one should be actually past this part, um, except for the farmers, and I know they don't really show up uh, this time of the night. Anyway, I'm just gonna dim out the lights a little bit. Anyway. I smell boar. Let's just move up a little bit just for the sake of safety. Anyway, uh, we were playing games, playing airsoft. You've seen Pokey's channel. A lot of the videos on there are from me doing my thing and uh, he posting it. But anyway, we had one game where we we're playing pistols and it's a brand new area of um it's weird uh it's four against three me being on the three side Bucky being on the four um as we were playing uh we me and the other two chose to not attack and play defense so we covered the bottleneck well during that battle i seen poke at a pipe area Shooting at him from where I was, I found out that my BBs can't reach him because I can see my uh, airsoft bullets falling short. He too acknowledges that it happened and he was trying to shoot me or something like that. Um, anyway, during the game, uh, Poke ran out of ammo. He was using a pretty strong uh, pistol at which point he ran out of ammo so he took himself out of the game me not knowing that he took himself out of game 
I knew where he was. So I watched. This is what I seen and this is how the game played after Poké left. So I was on the wall waiting for Poké only because I know he knows my strategies. He's also using a gun of mine so he knows he can target me from far away. Um, so I seen him once in his camouflage. I shot at him by the pipes and re realized I couldn't hit him because he's too far but he could shoot at me yet I do not believe he knew I was there because I was hiding behind brush anyway I was watching him as he was there what he did is he went down then I seen rustling you know how when you move around in tall grass there's no wind so it's not it's obvious so he I thought he had gone to the tree which is right right next to the berm where the other two were hiding by this time he's gone by this time he's gone his his other players came around the corner and uh, I hear steps dude the geckos are what's keeping me calm in my tradition the son of geckos is angel saying it's okay that's nothing so anyway he's already left the game so I see him I thought I see I thought it was him I thought I seen what looked like a camouflaged figure pop its head out from the branches anyway uh, I shot at it but he didn't shoot back he continued to pop his head over and over again I was thinking it was poke at all this time waiting for him to come and be in my range he was in my range and basically I shot one gun completely empty at the tree thinking okay he knows I know where he's at so he's gonna keep down as I was watching the brush would move further closer so I'm assuming he didn't even know where I was yet so he continued down I was waiting for him to pop at this time he I thought he stayed right on the opposite side of the brush the hill with the other two but Rodney uh, Rod already has a bullseye on the other three I shoot one and Rod takes out the other two well the game ends but I'm still acting as if there's still a player in there which is Poke and all this time Poke has already left the game the referees are saying end game I'm like where's where is Edgar where's Poke Oh, he left. He ran out of ammo. What? Who am I trying to shoot then? Come to find out, Poké's had uh, a few experiences already prior to this. And uh, yeah, one day we may end up going back to play, but he doesn't feel comfortable yet over there. So, but that's one of the reasons why he doesn't want to go over there. <laughs> Is because of the Menehune. That's what we're calling it. We're calling it the Menehune. There's been other apparent like things that have happened to him uh, down there at. I've kind of seen it, but I don't acknowledge it. Remember, guys, if something should happen, you don't want to acknowledge the ghosts. I'll uh, give you a rundown on what I believe. There's spirits all over the place, dead and alive. Well, they're all around. There are those spirits that just walk the place like they're regular people. And then there's others that need to talk. This is where the sensitives come into play to help them out. Um, they're trying to get to the, not trying to get out of here basically, and they don't know how. This is where the sensitives and psychics, I believe, God put here to help them. It's like redemption. So, anyway, 
that's just my belief uh, their spirits are all out there sensitives and psychics are more attuned everybody has this ability in truth it's those who have this ability and know how to use it are the people that should help these spirits move on anyway I'm kind of rambling so um, once again I'm getting a really heavy dry dry mouth because of me not having my teeth anyway let's head out to uh, Waipahu Elementary uh, and I'll see you then Hi again guys, further along the path, um, after the S turn is Waipahu Elementary. It's a special school. Um, I do believe a few people told me this place is haunted. Uh, we'll get back to that. We'll, do to, we'll get back to that probably on uh, another episode. Uh, but for now, I'll show you the outside. Uh, we'll walk the outside and you'll know why this is a special school. Anyway. Anyway. Just to give you a heads up guys. What makes this school uh, particularly uh, different? It's the only school in Waipahu that actually has a cemetery. Smack dab in the middle of it. That's right. You heard me. They actually have a cemetery, not in the middle, but it wraps around Waipahu Elementary. Uh, I'll go walking there. We'll, we'll walk there right now, uh, just to give you a heads up, just so that uh, you know what it is. Anyway, this is uh, Waipahu Elementary on the outside. We're not gonna walk in there. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get busted, but. Let's just walk to the cemetery. Anyway, this is the school from Waipahu Street. This is Waipahu Street that we're walking right now. I just want to make sure that you understand that this is part of the, the ghosts of Waipahu. Yeah, there's a There's a lot of weird stuff. Uh, these stairs are no longer being used. But back in the old days, this is how you basically got to Waipahu and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, sorry guys. Just checking up on one of my lights. It's actually stupid. But uh, yeah, this is Waipahu Elementary. Once again, just to give you a heads up. But this is the old Waipahu Street. It's haunted per se. On the other side is also Waipahu Elementary. And on that side, I've heard, well, I was told that on that side of the Waipahu Elementary is a demon girl. A girl that got possessed one day while she was at school. And I don't know what portable, but we'll, we'll, we'll go there one day. I just want to introduce you to uh, Waipahu Street. Here again is the way to get in now. No longer that other one. But there is a bridge to climb to cross over. But I heard that uh, one of the buildings, one of the girls got possessed by a demon. Or got possessed. Uh, like I said, I'm not planning to go into uh, the school. We're just gonna stay on the outside and just look around. But I, I wanna show you. I wanna show you uh, one thing about the school that makes it different. And this is once again, we're on uh, Waipahu Street. The notorious Waipahu Street that is haunted. Anyway guys, truthfully, 
Waipahu or almost every city in Oahu is haunted in a way. Here in Waipahu, because of all the plantation things and all that that happened in the past, um, this particular road was a main road and a lot of weird stuff happens here. And sometimes you gotta wonder why. So we have a homology right across the street. So I went up on Waikele Drive. I do believe. Yeah. So, taking a turn at Waikele Drive, still Waipahu uh, Elementary from this point on. Let me turn on another light. So, this is what makes Waipahu Elementary different from other elementary schools and we're gonna come right about it we're not gonna go into it I just want to show the fact that whoever designed these schools are freaked out are, are crazy anyway here's the end part oh Waipahu Elementary the actual backside and right next to it Is a graveyard. I'm not planning to go into it. Uh, it, it, it is a well kept graveyard and uh, it doesn't seem to have bothered anybody. But that's the weird part it's a school with a graveyard. Buildings all the way in the back is the school. And here's the front gate. So, yeah, guys, <laughs> there's a reason why Waipahu is weird, and it's this kind of stuff where we have a, a cemetery next to an elementary school who designed this i don't know but i wonder if uh, those of you who actually went to the school know of any stories would be good great i only know of one and it's the demon girl anyway We'll carry it back on towards uh, Honowai. Yes, you guys at Honowai. Your zone is pretty scary. So I gotta kind of be careful because I am by myself on this one. At Honowai, the story is that basically it, it's, it's really not on Waipahu Street. But it's an offshoot of Waipahu Street and everybody kind of knows about it. But uh, there was a murder in Honowai, and now the guy seems to haunt both the park, which is right next door, where he died, and the school. I think there's more stories, but we'll see if anyone actually says anything. But uh, yeah, uh, We'll wait on uh, that if anyone gives me a, P, a personal message or says anything about uh, Waipaho Elementary. Anyway, till Honowai. Hey guys so we're at Honowai or well, I'm at Honowai it's not really on uh, Waipahu Street but I cannot 
I cannot say Waipahu without adding Honowai to the locations. Here at Honowai, I've been told that there was a girl that was choked by a ghost here. So I really don't know exactly true if it was at uh, Honowai or uh, Waipahu Elementary. But this is the front side, they're under construction. This is Hanawai Elementary. It's uh, one of the... Did you guys hear that? Yeah. It's lucky today I'm not planning to go into the school. I just want to show... Uh, uh, why Pahu Street and why it is supposedly one of the more haunted ones. I'll give you more head, heads up of why Waipahu Street is haunted in the first place. With all these landmarks, no wonder there's a lot of stuff ha happening. Anyway, this is Honowai. And if you didn't hear that whistle, I didn't hear it too. <laughs> anyway, yes, I do not have my teeth for those of you who just jumped on in the middle. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm hearing things guys I just heard a moan hopefully you guys heard that too hello um yeah anyway still close to the car today and anyway, I just want to show you also um, another story that's kind of attached to Hono Wai it's primarily because there was a murder a few years ago and no one it's still unsolved no one knows uh, everybody's assuming it was a drug deal gone bad and basically the guy was left in the middle of the field. Anyway, next to the school is Honowai Park. And that's the park they found the body actually in the middle of the basketball courts. But this is the park. Just to give you a heads up how it looks. Not really gonna go in. Just wanna show you what it looks like. But this is Honowai Park. And he was located in there. It's kind of creepy. And I'm not going to go down there without any backup because there's a lot of construction going on right now over here at this location. And after hearing that those few voices earlier in the, at the school, I don't know if I really want to go down there. But uh, that's one why. And uh, sorry, I, for some apparent reason, my new lights are really blaring. But yeah, that's Hono White Park back behind me. And basically, that, le that led to a lot of hauntings in this area. Uh, back then, this was a high concentration of drugs and all that kind of stuff. I kind of got to look around just in case. But there was a murder that was done over here and after that murder maybe a few months weird things happen now it doesn't look like anyone actually comes to this this park at night i heard something again guys You guys hear that low rumble? But these are just the basketball courts. It goes further down. There's a there's a baseball field also after. 
but uh, yeah, uh, I plan to uh, give Honowai its credit. Uh, it feels right now spooky. I hear stuff, and it's not okay. Maybe because I don't have my teeth. <laughs> Joking. But I've already heard a few voices and I haven't even gone into uh, Honowai uh, Elementary. I'm not even planning to. I'm just, like I said, featuring... Uh, featuring uh, Waipahu Street. And yeah. Anyway, since we're here, I'll cover... Since we went through the whole side from one side to the other of Waipahu Street and we're already a block off Waipahu Street, I'll give you a reason why Waipahu Street is haunted. Uh, firstly, the Battle of uh, Kipapa Gulch is in this area. Supposedly, There's that rumble again. So I'm assuming it's uh, airplanes from uh, Honolulu International or Hickam Air Force Base. But anyway, one of the reasons why Waipahu Street is haunted is probably because it was a battleground. Uh, Waipahu was a battleground. The area where Sugar Mill and Estern is and the plantation village, which we passed, is the beginning of the Battle of Kipapa. They actually go into the valley uh, and the battle continues on. There's no houses in that area and it's an area where you can't really go in. Um, but it is said that when you go in there, there's orbs and screams. And here, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I'm not even in the school, I'm just in the middle of both the park and uh, the school and it feels spooky. I hear things left and right here and there's hardly anything around. Um, I'm assuming this is just active activity that's going on that's normal for the day. I don't know, I just gotta keep shining over there just in case if it's a live person. I'd rather actually have a dead person right now come up on me than a live one. But uh, yeah, Waipahu Street, it's the focal point of a battle. Uh, here in Waipahu, there's other spots that's haunted, but for some apparent reason, this stretch between uh, uh, Tsumoto or Jimmy's all the way down to this location or all the way down to Waipahu, Waipahu Elementary seems to be highly active uh, especially at the S-turn uh, on Halloween everybody goes over there for the plantation uh, I know some of you've seen videos where it's during the day and at the plantation things happen uh, example the interview I call it the interview where they were interviewing one of the groundskeepers during the day at the plantation village and you see the Portuguese house the door open I know you all if you look it online haunted something you can find it but it's really creepy uh, they're closing they're closing the interview and uh, yeah the door just opens on its own <laughs> and the guy doesn't even know that it happened but uh yeah and this is where bloodshed has been poured so it goes into the valley uh and in the valley it's supposedly there's a lot of stories um i'll save it for later 
Um, but yeah, it's haunted. I can pretty much say it's haunted. Without even the camera, I can say it's haunted. Probably because I've seen stuff there when I used to walk there on my own. Uh, the problem over there now at the Stern is the homeless. So, anyway, guys, um, that's OMG. What that? Waipahu Street. Don't forget, guys, to like, subscribe, and share. Subscribe there. Hit that button and subscribe so you can be part of the channel and also keep us keep us going in all this right now uh, we have a lot of views but no subscriptions just hit the subscription like and just wait for a, uh, a notification I heard it again uh, I'm gonna get out of this area <laughs> anyway peace for OMG, what that? This is Waipahu Street. I'm Jibu, and I do not have my teeth today. <laughs> anyway, peace.